You just thought he was cool. I, he was just chill. Yeah. You just know, chill. Just, a, just a nice dog, Rocco. a nice, beautiful That's house dog. Exactly and what you want, though. over there, <laughs> holy shit. It's what you can do every single day that matters more than anything. No excuses. Do it. Girlfriend or no girlfriend. Do it. Tired or not tired. Do it. You said you was going to do it out your mouth. You a man now. And a man is only as good as his word, not his emotions. Your emotions don't win championship. So whatever's going to cause you not to be your best, stop it. This is about you retraining your brain to understand this is a fucking process that we learn of discipline and execution and competition with ourselves. And if you want to dictate the success that you're going to create, you've got to learn to master the sh that everybody else thinks is irrelevant. One of the most important things about selecting a dog for a client is getting all the information from them to try and work out what the best dog is for that lifestyle and that family. So when it came to Rocco, Rocco is a fantastic all-round dog. In terms of protection, it's world-class. But what's most amazing about Rocco is that he likes other dogs, which they have a small dog, so that was very important. Also, that he's actually very calm in a house and he's great with children, which was also important because they have children. So during the process of training, we try and mimic exactly what they will do with their life. So going to town centers, socialization, going to busy places like we did in America with him, and all the things that are important to them is what we try and mimic as much as possible with a dog. So training, obedience, protection, start staging some house robberies which could potentially happen, the being around children, the being in the town centre, the travelling forward and backwards, all them things. And when the dog passes everything that you're looking for and it matches their lifestyle, then you're ready to hand that dog over. What's going on? He's getting going to the airport today so we can meet him in America tomorrow. Hey? We've got a long old flight there, do you? Come on. Uh, oh yeah. Is that a new collar he's got on, yeah? Yeah. Come on then. Oh. Right, we just need his food for two food, two blocks for tonight, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Two blocks for tonight. So fresh ready. Go down. Hey, good. Daddy. Bye bye. Next stop, America. Let's have it, man. Same time that you'll get in tonight, 8 o'clock, so I'll need picking up from the airport 8 o'clock in the night. The door hasn't made it, um, so Rocco's still coming at the same time. So, so what's going to happen? Of emergency, it? It's up to yeah, the exactly. Way. So Rocco's still coming at the same time, and we're going to go pick Rocco up, get him settled in. Um, luckily, I still really know the dog very well. I've done a lot of training with him. Um, it's a shame that the dog can't be here. He's going to join us tomorrow night. But um, the, no different. From no, no different, different from usual. It'll be, it'll be the same. Be the same. Still get him settled in, um, get him bonding with the family, get a bit of training done, and then we'll meet the door tomorrow night. Yeah. 
I am so sorry it took so long. It's all right. And I was told, I didn't get wrong, because I was told not to take them out. Yeah, I would. Although, you know what, I've had those yeah. ones for 30 years, and that's yeah. probably the most beautiful thing that I've seen. Oh, my God. Hello, my God. He is so handsome. Hello, Rocco. Oh, God. What's that, good boy? Rocco, what's this? just picked Rocco up, um, take him for a walk around the neighbourhood, get him used to his surroundings and want to go back, let him out in the back garden, let him run off all of his energy. Um, then he should sleep through the night and then we'll be back in the morning to do some obedience with him. That's the plan for tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll uh, get here in the morning, do some obedience with him, have some fun obedience with him and then uh, take him on a walk with their other dog Daisy, a little chihuahua. Let them get to know each other, let them become friends, um, get them settled in. I'm going to be your favourite person in the world. <laughs> oh, promise, he likes you, doesn't he? I promise you. Look at you, he really likes I you. I will be. You can count on that, it's only going to be me. <laughs> he does that when he wants more for us. Good boy. So that's day one wrapped up. Day one wrapped up. Rocco nice and happy. Back again tomorrow. Back again tomorrow. Fabio. Yes. Good morning. Morning. What's the plan today? So plan for today is we're going to go get picked up by the clients now and then we will get Rocco out of his crate. Let him have him run around in the garden and then we're going to introduce him on a walk to their other dog, Daisy. She's a chihuahua. Um, apparently quite reactive, so we'll see how Rocco finds that. Um, let the family walk Rocco, get a feel for him, just know he is, and then we'll have some, some obedience training in the garden, make sure he's all settled in in that, let them do some obedience with him, go through his commands, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Down. Yep, yeah, I'll walk back to him and give him a treat. Down. See ya. Yes. Rocco on a walk with the whole family with their other dog Daisy the Chihuahua and let them walk the dog see what it's like on a walk it's good bonding time for the dog and the family and then bring him back here let him have a run around the garden maybe do some more obedience with the rest of the family and call it a night for Rocco he'll rest well Just down. I walked off. I say Rocco up here. Good. Then obviously, when you're walking with him, it says Rocco close. You bring close to side. On the left side. Okay. Yeah. When you say close, he's always on the left. Side. Always on the left. Close is always on the left. But for basics, just while he's trained, we'll just stick to sitting down. So I say Rocco sit. Good. Down. 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 Yes. Here. Good. Wrap 
today up until the dog gets here. Okay. Um, obviously, we'll meet the dog at the airport, and then we'll crack on again tomorrow when the real work starts. Yeah. How are we doing? Oh, good. All right. How are we doing? Nice to meet you. You all right? Sorry for the delay. No worries. You want to go to the bathroom before we no, go? No, I'm good. good. Sure. Yeah, let's go. I was quiet. Quiet, quiet. Yeah. There were three, um, three TV screens with all the same thing on. No way. Yeah, everything's piles of suitcases everywhere. Man, wouldn't be like. Your family, family's okay? I did yeah. Did it all again today. It was like a test run yesterday. I was like fucking all the way back home, and they did it all again. Then I got there exactly the same time we did as yesterday. I went to the, exactly the same car park spot, exactly the same everything. But you're here now. Right? Yeah. Now the work starts. Now the work starts. It's been good though. Yeah. yeah. No, it's been great. You know what's? Do you know what the good thing is? Like you needed to settle in anyway. Yeah. So there's not much could have been done other than what's been done now, which is fine. Right. Now he's kind of like, okay, I'm here. Right. Has he been good in the house? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think he's barked yet. No. I don't, I don't think I've heard a bark the, the, the at all. Thi the good thing with that dog is that he's not an irrelevant barker. So he'll bark when he realizes something's wrong. Yeah. But that also takes time because in his eyes, what's right and wrong at the moment. So a suspicious stuff is only suspicious when it becomes abnormal if that makes sense. Right. So still trying to work out your routine. Yeah. I appreciate picking right, you up man. so much. Yeah, Thank you no so problem. much. We'll see, see you guys in the morning. It's a 9am. 9am. I'll be ready. Thank you. Thanks, Ryan. Yeah. 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 So you've arrived. Better uh, late than never, as I said. What time is it now? It's half 10 here, but it's half 3 am in your mm -hmm. time. Still ready to rock and roll. Yeah, it's half three. Half three, London, yeah. What's the plan tomorrow then? It's tomorrow, isn't it? In my eyes. What's the plan today? Listen, the A team's just arrived. That's what's happened. The A team's here. We've been here two days. Listen, there's no such thing as the A team unless I'm here. Where's Joe? In bed with his shits. <laughs> Arrived late yesterday. Yeah. What's the plan? It's weird because we were having some dinner last night. What time was it? About half eleven. Yeah. About but it was really like breakfast. So I'm eating chicken and mash <laughs> at like 5 a.m. English time, but 12 a.m. here. But then I woke up at 3, like wide awake. So yeah. So you thought you'd wake everyone else up? Well, obviously, yeah. I'm going to sit there by myself. I sat there for. Is that your alarm? <laughs> that's, my, that's my normal alarm. <laughs> what, Shows you what time he usually wakes up. What's the plan today? Big day today. Big, big day. The feeling of big day. The A team's finally arrived. I'm ready. You know, this the, um, just gonna work out the property and work out some things and what we can be doing there, and you know, do some work with the dog, get more comfortable handling him, maybe start lining up a bit of protection, and then tomorrow we'll up the game even more. But I think today's more about seeing the house set up, the front and back garden, all the little things that are important to them, and going from there. Just do what we do. Killing the game. What we do best? Dogs. Dogs. Do what we do the best. You know, people say worldwide, right? We are properly worldwide, aren't we? Let's be realistic. We're worldwide. We've been pretty much everywhere in the world with dogs. The furthest points from England to Australia to America, Dubai, Middle East, Saudi. Switzerland, Sweden, Germany, Spain, everywhere in the last, what, year even. I love this. I love the dog game. We're only scratching the surface. Stay tuned, man. It's all going to happen. All going to happen. Go away.
ways. Okay. So if you, if you have that structure and discipline of doing it all the time, what will happen is when you come to a doorway or a gateway, automatically sit. Okay. So and and I do it quite abruptly. So like if I come to, I don't know, let's say them stairs, I'll come to a sudden standstill where I go. Ah. Okay, I come to an abrupt standstill, and that way the dog goes up, and he sits and he waits, and then I allow him to go down with me. Okay. So if you have that little bit around every doorway, if you just think doorway, roads, right. anything like that, abrupt stop, look, dog sits, good boy. Okay. And you don't have to give a treat, so I can just go like this. Okay. Oh, oh boy. Look at that. that has a good voice. Yeah. And then I go. Okay. Got it. Because the two reasons you never know what's around the other side of a door, a gate, or anything like that. So it allows you to go through first, see what's going on, okay. and then move from there. But it's not the green egg. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to the green egg. <laughs> you told I told me about you. that. I said you'll mention it straight away. I told you. <laughs> So with a dog like this, this dog's an athlete, fit. Right. The fitter you get him, the fitter he becomes. So people think, I'll tire this dog out by walking him five kilometers, 10, 15. The more you do, the fitter he'll be. Right. He'll outrun most people. And the more you do with him, the fitter he'll get. What works with these dogs is mental stimulation. 10 minutes or five minutes of mental stimulation is better than a one hour walk. Okay. So just having a little bit of fun with him in the garden through mental stuff, is better than the walk, walk okay. because it'll tire him out quicker. Right. So simple things like you could be doing it with treats, just like the sit. Okay. Things like have he's thinking what to do. Down. Yes. Good boy. And then uh, not having cuddles right now. <laughs> no. <laughs> sit. So close. Close is our heel word. Right. Okay. So when we use the word close, it's stay close, and then he stays by your left side. Okay. So yes is a free, it's a free word. So the second you say yes with some attitude or like some umph about it, he goes yes, free. And then his expectation is to release the position he's been in and get a reward. Okay. So you can do it like from the down or from even from the sits. Close. Sit. 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 Close. And you leave him if I want him to free. Yes. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. And then you can give him that sort of little things like that, make him think. Down. Good boy. Close. Oh, 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 oh. Boy. Good boy. Introducing Rocco to Daisy was quite simple. We already knew what Rocco would be like upon arrival. We know what he's like with introduction to new dogs because we've done this multiple times in England. So we knew how it would pan out. Now, it's not something you just throw in the deep end and just allow them to get off on the wrong foot. We always do it cautiously. And a slow introduction where you walk them together, let them sniff each other and not let them bombard together is very important. So you get off on the right foot and then hopefully from there it progresses onwards. But we already knew that this dog would get on well with Daisy because of how he is in England with the dogs that we've had him with. This is easy, it's really, this is perfect. Absolutely chill. This is like absolutely perfect with them both. He's not bothered. She's like, this is my house, leave me alone. <laughs> I've been living the dream and now you've come along. <laughs> God. Yeah. Yeah. She's like, I'm not sharing no food with you. <laughs> you look like you eat a lot. <laughs> you eat a lot of food, you and I'm not sharing nothing. <laughs> Rocco, Rocco, what's this? Yes. Rocco, what's this? Sit. Yep. Good. Oh, you're not scratching him as good. Yep. Sit. Ready? Yep. Good boy. Sit. Yep. Good boy. That's good. Go on in. Yep. I can't believe how relaxed it is. It's going to be easy. Training's going to be easy. Yeah, yeah I thought it'd be way more stressed. This is probably the most chilled I've ever seen a doe bland in America. Yeah. Usually, like, oh, what's going on? <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> what's happening? The climate, everything's changed, but the climate's similar at the minute. So we've come at like the perfect timing. Yeah. When you throw a dog into the deep end where you hit like zero to 30 degrees, oh. the dog's like, Phew. oh, yeah. Three days you're trying to do some work with him, and he's like, yeah. he's still looking for big birds, look. <laughs> There'll be no birds getting in here. <laughs> well, you you guys want to have breakfast? Yeah, if you want, we can. Yeah, yeah we can put we can cook. 
Okay, well, what I'll do is I'll put him away. Yeah. We'll bring him back out after and we'll go for a tour around. Yeah. We'll yeah. go around. Yeah. That way you guys can have a snack if you want. Brilliant. Can I give you a set, though? Yeah, sure. Just one of your bags. Yes, a blue poop bag pops out of my pocket. I'm like, yeah, I think it was. Yeah. I walk, yeah. I can't believe how good he's a boy. Isn't it? Yeah, I love to see that. Good boy. Well done. Little fry there. How have you found it since coming back and seeing Rocco now in his new environment? Just different dog. I kept the kennel. He was very, very high energy because he loved the work so much. Um, but he feels at home here, and that's what's so nice to see. The dog genuinely feels at home, and he's relaxed, and he's being calm, and he's enjoying it, and he's got an amazing little dog. It's capture you trying Chick Fil A for the first time. Come on, man. Oh, good. What's this? Is this sauce? Sauce, yeah. Yeah. What is it? It's like KFC. It's like KFC, but I want you to know. Atlanta's, this was, uh, Chick fil A started in Atlanta. Oh, did it? And it's I've probably heard of it. crazy busy franchise to get into. You have to be Christian in order to pretty much get <laughs> Really? It. Yeah, I'm not joking. Really? No, you don't have to be any Christian. You need to be involved in the church. Huh? Like involved. Mm, very good, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, every American it's very, very good. Oh kids. wow, that sauce is really nice, isn't it? Chicken's amazing. Yeah. I'm sorry. Started in Atlanta. I would like to try it. Yeah. Just know that wow. it's very good, uh, and that I'm enjoying it on your behalf. Just know that I'm free when you're in Thailand. He's on a diet. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I've had three before you come on. Oh, have you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. One of the most important things about any visit or any handover that we do is looking around the whole perimeter and working out the vulnerable spots of the perimeter. This is points of where it would be easy to break in. And it's in, in past experience, if they've had a break in before, where they got in from. And once you've worked this out, then it's about working them spots, planning out scenarios in them individual spots and getting the dog more alert in them vulnerable areas of the property. It's very important to do this with every household and look round and do a proper security check and therefore you can plan your training out way better. What do we do now? Do you want to have a, do you want to have a walk with him? Or? Yeah, we'll yeah should we go on a little walk with him? Yeah. Yeah. What I love about animals is that you need, you need discipline right. to do it. Absolutely. Because it's not people that are doing it for the sake of money don't have that love and commitment, and therefore the dogs don't have the best best likes. Right. But when you do it for love, there's such a good discipline to it. That's what keeps me sane. Right. Because no matter how I'm feeling, I can't go out and go oh, fuck it today. Right. I've got to get up for the dogs. Right. That's why I've got a natural alarm clock. I get up every morning, and dogs get out, and the kennels get clean, and they get fed. No matter what's going on, right. COVID, birthdays. Christmas day, whatever day you want, yeah. Yeah. nine times out of ten, I don't know what day it is. Right. I really don't know. What day, I don't know. I don't know what day it is. It's the same day every day. To me, you know. I don't. I really don't know if it's a Monday or a Friday. I really don't know. Most of the time. Right. But it also gives you such discipline in your life. Right. So like when I used to do a lot of sport when I was young, I used to box. That was discipline. Right. So I never went out did stupid stuff because I was disciplined in like just trying to be fit and well. Right. Same with the dogs. Yeah, I love that part of it. He's taking it all in, yeah. isn't he? Everything. First, we'll have a practice run without him. Okay. Um, and then we'll have a quick bite session, okay. real quick, like right, really quick. It's not going to be long, it's just going to be fast. Prepare me for tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. So Fabio Harness, yep. line I've got, jumper I'll put on, sleeve. Uh, it's all going to be sleeve orientated, so it's all cool. Right. Okay. I'm just going to put you through a bit of workout, that's all. Yeah, um, yeah it'll be fun. And then I think she's like, no, mom, she's getting along, but it'll be right. And then once we do that, we'll after that, we'll let him have the phone. So once we've done this, we'll let him have a run round, we'll let him chill out for a bit, then put him away, and that's it. And then we'll feed him an hour after. Okay. And then tomorrow, we'll stage out the sessions one by one by one. Okay. And we'll finish on a night time session before we leave. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. Be a good boy, he knows we're doing we'll something. Yeah. We'll show an example to Zahila what you're doing. Yeah. And then tomorrow, we can have a go, all of us. Yeah.
Yeah. Brilliant. Are the kids allowed to? Walk? Of course, yeah, do what they want. Are they, can I tell them to come down here? And walk? Yeah, they can do it from anywhere they want. Yeah, of course. It's about to go down. Just the first fun session. Nothing serious. Nothing real. Just, just getting the dog working. That's it, sleeve and more an explanation to show the clients how to hold the dog and what to do tomorrow. Yeah. Probably let, what we'll do is we'll have a feel of how it's going and then I want you to let him have a go to stand with him. And at this point there, he's just going to bark, bark, go mad. Right. If I come at him, it's a bite. Right. If I walk away, it's no bite. Right. You and the dog against whoever the attacker is. Do it as a team. People always go, oh, yeah. teach the what to expect when holding a dog in a safe manner so I've had a sleeve on so it's it's totally safe um, and it's just to get a feeling it's very very like for, for, for the public and a new user to a dog having that power in front of you where the dogs boom boom bang forward backwards and intense and like means it is a lot it's a hell of a lot to take on so you start teaching the client what to do in a nice manner where it's safe it's fun it's not too much stress for them and then it becomes comes great and after that you start when when they're prepared because the dog's ready dog knows what he's doing you start putting some more realistic situations in place and then we're good to go and then by the end of this process he'll he should be very comfortable using that dog if he needs and that's the main thing that's why we do it the way we do <laughs> but he's not a joke is he <laughs> it's strong you won't, want to, you won't want to be on the receiving end. No, no, you're not going to come anywhere no. close hey, to you. No. Hey, my boy. Hey. You're not going to come anywhere no. close to you. No. You are my boy. Hey, you're a good boy. You did good. Can I have a run around the garden? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah he can play with the kids now for yeah. a bit, whatever. It's cool. Yeah. Like, probably be a bit on alert. Like, he'll probably run down to that corner and see if someone's yeah. still there. But That's okay. He'll be absolutely cool. Kids can play with him now as usual. Yeah. He'll absolutely cuddle and kiss everyone. It's yeah. a job. He turns yeah. on and off. The balance oh, nice. is amazing. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> the amount, it was like, like an on-off switch. Yeah. On clicking. Yeah. Uh, do you want to take his harness off? Yeah, you can take it off, yeah. Look where he goes now. You can see he's already eyeing up the corner. Yeah. <laughs> see what I mean? <laughs> Steady! This is what I mean by when you do scenarios. Right. So that's, I just, it wasn't a proper real scenario, but it was like, the expectation that someone could be in the bushes. Right. So that's okay. Look, now he's more picked up his attitude. Yeah. He's way more alert than he was. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. way, he's ready. He's ready. He's, he's, ready. Ready. he's yeah. like, come on, then. What we doing? You can see he's way more alert. Yeah, ready. He's way more hyped. Good boy, Rocco. <laughs> there, now he's loving it. Look. Yeah. <laughs> that is impressive. It's a really I've never seen anything like it. On and off switch. It's I've cool, never seen anything. Like, since he came, 
And you just thought he was cool. I think he was just chill. Yeah, you just know, chill. Just, a, just a nice dog, Rocco, a nice, beautiful that's the house dog. Exactly and what you then want, though. Over there. <laughs> Holy shit. Steady. Yeah, he's exactly. still looking. Yeah, he's looking. Sure. He's still but you see why, like, it's. um. When you do some like real scenarios, everything changes. Everything. Everything changes. Here. Like literally, the dog becomes okay. That's what I'm here for. Right. Sometimes the dog becomes complacent if you don't do some work in the house. Right. So it's important to do a little bit to start with, but not too much. Mm -hmm. I don't want the dog running around the garden on the edge every time he comes out. Right. But I definitely want him thinking. You know, I am. I'm here to do my job. A bit. I've got to think there's something happening here. Right. But then when you start doing scenarios in place, it goes up levels. Right. That's good. That's what you want. Right. You know, like especially the nighttime work. Yeah. Hey, no one should be coming over any back. I mean, you see it on online with your videos and but stuff. Feelings different. <laughs> yeah, feelings <laughs> different. What's what? What I think you'll like is once you've done a bit more training, is when you do real scenarios. Yeah, that's cool. That's like you're walking down the street, or you come in the drive, and someone's there, then boom. Yeah, it's instant. Whoa, what's just happened here? Because yeah. you need that factor of oh, what the? Yeah, what, what just happened? Yeah. And then you boom straight into the work, straight out the work. And you're like, has that just happened? <laughs> but that's what happens in real life. Right. You're not going to walk down the street going, I'm ready for this. Right. You're, not, you're, not, you're not doing that with that expectation. Yeah. Right. Something happens randomly, it catches you by surprise. You go, wow, what's just happened? The dog reacts, you react in the manner that you should. The dog goes out, finished, back home. Right. Like nothing ever happened. Just another day in the office yeah. of the dog. Exactly. And you, and yeah. that's it. Job that's done. the key, job done. Yeah. Yeah. And that's all you want. That's all you want, the dog to go on, that's off, boom, finished. Yeah. As a matter of fact, you know what the kids were saying? Finally, we want to have a dog that we can take places. You can take her tomorrow. Because we can't take her anywhere. Tomorrow you'll be able to take her and we'll, and we'll correct it real quick. And it's the house, like, it, do stuff like that in your sleep. Like, it's really easy. I won't even worry about it. It'll be done and dusted and that'll be that. Yeah, we've never taken Daisy out. We took her once to the to that mall that you guys went to. Yeah, and it was, and it was a nightmare. It and was just... Tomorrow will be fun then. It was just bad. Be real easy, like, real quick, like you'll laugh. You'll be like, yeah. what, there's all I have to do? Yep, that's all you have to do. Okay, so we'll you, try. You don't think you can take Daisy to the shopping mall? No. No. You don't think you can take No, her? no, I, I know we cannot take her. She, we've done it and it doesn't work. Okay, I'll oh. show you how it works. <laughs> <laughs> What's your thoughts on that? Easy, you'll be easy. Over. I'm not going to we'll say that. We'll see tomorrow. Good morning. Final day. Yep. What's the plan? Quite a busy day. Um, we are going to go do some protection this morning. And then after that, we're going to go to the shopping mall with the dogs. Got a challenge on with a little Daisy. A little, what is it, Chihuahua? Yeah. Challenge on with the, the Chihuahua that they can't take out because it's very reactive to everything. So I'll fix that. And then we'll have a coffee. Come back, check out the hotel. Go back, do some more protection. Nice little walk around the village, or the place where they live. Neighbourhood. Neighbourhood, that's the one. And then, I think we'll do one more protection before we take off at like 11 o'clock tonight. Cool. And then just the usual, back to England, back to the grind. Same concept. Same place? No, not same place, different place. Right. Um, middle of the garden this time, I'm gonna pop from behind. I'll show you now. I'll show you what I mean. Hello, you. Just watch out, because the uh, grass is quite slippy this morning. Yeah. Yeah, it's all over. Are they stairs? No. Yeah. They're, you know, they're, they're in between them, like two bushes. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's 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 okay. yeah. I'm gonna call it there, Fabio, then you're in the middle. Okay. Yeah. So come out, use your again. When you see me, watch him. Okay. Yeah. I think you can come out today. I think you can hold him this time coming out. Okay. Yeah? Um, you just stand with. Yeah, make, yeah. make sure. It's going to be slippy. If it is slippy, just yeah. brace yourself. Right. Yeah, that's good. Oh, 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 oh,
Take it off, Big Fabio. Out. That dog would hurt you. In a very, very bad way, that dog would put you if you come across him on a bad day. I mean, look, he was trying to, he was like, Are you, are you the man? You were shitting yourself, tell the truth. I was stood there. You're, you're still shaking now, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was stood there. He come out. I didn't move. And then he looked at me, and I thought, oh, Well, no. you were the only person to look at, because yeah. you were the only person visible, but it's great, because you just stood there minding your own business mutual with a camera. You didn't look aggressive. And he was like, okay, you're the man, I'll bite you then. He was doing what he was told to do. And then I popped out another threat, and then he transfers to me, but it's not a toy, that thing. It's a proper, proper serious dog. Like, you've seen that yourself. Like, you, what did you do to agitate him? Nothing. Um... Yeah, there's a lot of training to put in to make sure it goes safe because that dog is not, not playing no games with you. It's a proper, proper, true to itself Doberman that. It would, it would hurt you badly. Hopefully he never has to use it because God up the person he has to use it on. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's okay. Hello. 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 Fabio and James. Good. <laughs> Sit. Good. <laughs> and what do you say? Lie down? Sit down. down. Sit down. Oh. Good. <laughs> down. They call it down. It it down. Be, yeah. Sit it like down. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Down it like down. Up for me. Yeah. So down. Rocco? Rocco down. Good. Ooh. Very good, baby. Very good. <laughs> Here, baby. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Good. First time in our life in 70 years. Really? Yeah. Yes, in my life. The first, first time, first time you've ever I ever touched the dog. No, never really? touched a dog. No. Really good. Yeah, you think so? I've seen people scared, scared of dogs. Yeah, you're 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 doing really good. Hi Rocco. <laughs> behave, baby. Behave. Good boy. Good so boy. Nice. <laughs> good boy. Good boy. I love you, so baby. Easy. So for, my dad was saying for 70 years he's never petted a dog. Today was the first day. Wow. And? Yeah. Is he, he good? He's great. Yeah. Does he like it? They were giving treats. Yeah. Great. My mom was trying to play with him. Yeah. Hey, was hey was Rocco cool. baby. Hey Rocco baby. Oh, <laughs> it was amazing. Well done. <laughs> Place her behind my back. I thought you said I, Daisy couldn't be walked outside. She could not. This is the first walk in how long? Oh, it's never happened. Three years. You walk home and then say that you need. Yeah, good. It's really good. Stay close. Good. That's great. Quite funny walking up inside. Yeah, the dogs are alive. <laughs> you can go. 
I need it on my phone though. I want this on my phone for um, the Australians. Go on, fam's walking. Get into Lulu Lemon. Come on, I'm coming with you. I'll video you. You walk in, I'll video you. You walk in, I'll video you. Pass me your phone. Are you allowed him in? Pass me your phone, I'll video you. Come on. What are you about to do? Go to Lulu. Pardon? I don't think so. I ate a That's nothing. Wow. I'd like to jump in that car thinking it's gone longer. <laughs> Come on. We can put these seats down if you want to give them more room. No, no, there's a need actually. Need. Come on, are you going to try jump up? Yeah, good boy. <laughs> good lad. What's this? Yes, good boy. Okay. Right. Stay. Good boy. Ah, good boy. Yeah, he's good. What's Perfect. the plan now? Head back, rest him. The final session of protection tonight. Head back to the airport. Down on the couch quickly. Yeah. And then I'll pop out. Okay. And Fabio's gonna help you, he's gonna guide you because it's serious now. Great, it's a good session. It's more, I've got no concerns about the dog working, it's just more teaching them what to expect. I think we've very much painted the picture of what the dog does. Bit of a feeling for it, like you're giving a, a weapon to someone who needs training. So now he knows a little bit what to expect. I think now, next time, when you've actually bonded and spent time with that dog, it becomes way safer, way easier and way less stressful. There's no point doing loads of different scenarios in the first instance, it's too much. Let the dog bond, let the dog settle when we come back. It's game on. It's good. <laughs> What's in your hand? Um... The Swizzlers. Who's that? Has Rocco got out? <laughs> 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 Rocco got out. So now that you're eating sweets, would you say that's everything wrapped up? I'd say that's it. Oh, it's been a pleasure as well. Yeah, I've really honestly thanks no, for the hospitality and everything. That, no, it's been amazing. I've genuinely, hand on heart, really enjoyed this handover. No, it's been wonderful. It. It's so nice to see the home he's got, the family he's got. Thank that's you. reward. That's the most rewarding thing for us. So he's got a great home, he's got a great family, and it's a win-win. Yeah. And I know for a fact you're safe with him. 
<laughs> so it's a proper win. No, yeah, absolutely. I think he's going to add so much joy and love and protection to our family. It's yeah, I'm great. happy. I'm looking forward to come back and see him. Yeah. No, we're honored to have him. Yeah. And for your team to be back, Fabio, James, you, Lador, yeah, we'll obviously. Be back. You know, we, yeah, I appreciate it. My there. youngest daughter said today, wow, now we can stay alone in the house because uh-huh. we have Rocco. We don't, we can stay alone. <laughs> yeah. I mean, she's them. they're eleven and twelve, yeah, yeah, but they so, yeah. they don't they don't like we don't leave them for yeah. long. But they don't. I think now they feel secure. Safer. They yeah. feel safe. You have a bodyguard here. That's what you've got. Right. And one that will risk it and give his life for anybody here. So. Right. It's brilliant. Yeah. Nice. Your company's amazing. Appreciate it. Thank you. No, I love you it. guys are on a rocket ship, man. Just enjoy the Just ride. Can't wait to move it. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Plan. Can't wait for that. Yeah. Come to America. Definitely. Yeah. 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 And it's all based on personnel, you know. Yeah. You being the, the captain of the ship. Yeah. Fabio. You like Fabio? Look, yeah. he's happy. No, <laughs> he, he crushed it, man. He's crushed it. He's happy. James, also fantastic. Yeah. The clips and the video. Look how happy you look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean that. I'm not, I'm not trying to Thank you. Blow it means smoke. a lot. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. No, I appreciate it. Yeah. Wow. Bad. Oh, yeah. Boy, he's not even bothered by you anymore. Hey! And say bye to him. Say bye bye. Got some water. Hey. I'll miss you, I th- bro. I think I, I have some water. I'll miss you. Come on, then, buddy. Come on, then, the rest of the bit now. This is like, yeah. that's my bed. That's cool. Oh, okay. Come on, good oh, boy. Good oh, boy. This is okay. Yeah. Got a drink? Oh, a drink there. Oi, what's this? Got a drink? Got a drink? Ah, you Check your passport. Yeah, I got got that. You got it, yeah. Yeah. Hell. Thanks so much. Thank you for Honestly. trusting us with Rock. Oh, thank you. Being that. Honestly, the hospitality, everything. I've really enjoyed meeting you as a person. Thank you. Great to meet you. No, love you. Good. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate you need it. anything from us? Yeah, no, love appreciate it. it. Keep me posted on. and anything you need. Yeah, you know, don't be shy. Just bring me, bring me what's up, mate. And add and your wife. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Well, thank you. So I'll see you in December then, yeah? Absolutely. It was going to be great. Thank Can't you. Can't wait. So thank you. <laughs> see you, James. See you later, James. We are more than happy with the service. It's uh, much, much better than we were expecting. I think it's hard to find a caliber um, of a dog and a company that delivers what they promised. Um, It's better than I expected. And I would say it was flawless. Having the team come out to our house, introduce us to Rocco, make us feel comfortable with Rocco, Rocco with us, and then also introduce Rocco to our two daughters and our chihuahua, way better than we expected or anticipated. And we're very happy with the service. We're happy with the service, with the dog, with everything. Yeah, Yeah, Fabio was amazing, James amazing, Lador, top notch. Um, Your your team is as strong as I've ever seen in, in other businesses. You're successful, because of your personnel. And your personnel that we dealt with, James, Fabio, and Lador, the best. Thank you guys for bringing Rocco. Yeah. And we look forward to many, many years with him.